What's going on YouTube? You're chilling with Trainers Opposite, and today I've got a battle for you against my buddy Dean. It was during a stream, I believe. It might have been mine, it might have been someone else's, and uh, we were having a battle, and after our battle, he wanted a battle again, so I've got back-to-back -back battles for you today. So look at my opponent's team. Threats, definitely Agron, Magnazone, and possibly Flygon. Agron, which is a massive, massive tank this generation, thanks to its Mega Evolution. Magnazone because either the Scarf, Specs, or hell, even just a Substitute set, it has massive special attack, decent bulk, and can hit really hard. And finally, Flygon, while not very powerful, it can hit hard with Earthquake, maybe like 2 hit KOing something, and I'll have to deal with its U-turn shenanigans. However, it's also worthwhile noticing Delibird. Yeah, yeah, you guys may think I'm crazy for mentioning it as a threat, but consider this. In this generation, Delibird has access to Rapid Spin, Spikes, and Destiny Bond. Along with its ability Hustle, it's a veritable, well, bag of surprises. But I think that'll do for a team preview, let's get to it. Here we go guys, like I said, this battle is against Dean, and he's going to start off with his Gate Guardian as I start off with my Talonflame. Now, Agron is a problem, he's going to straight off Mega Evolve, which gets a huge defense boost in this generation and loses its rock typing. I'm going to go for the U-turn, predicting him to go for either the uh, T-Wave or maybe the Stealth Rocks or Rock Type move. Um, he does go for the T-Wave, and I am going to, my Age of Slash is paralyzed, which I don't mind too much considering I do need it to be slower so I can tank the hits, uh, except I get paralyzed here, and I don't know why I didn't go for the King Shield here. I mean, I I could have taken the hit if I was in shield form, but no, I, I don't know why. I, just, I was just really weird and didn't do it. So I go into my Talon Flame, go for the, t the um, uh, Flare Blitz as he goes for T-Wave on it, and... You know, I'm losing some of my best offensive threats here. I mean, it's not all of them lost, but I'm losing some of them. So he switches into his Flygon to bait my Brave Bird, and I'm going to end up knocking myself out to recoil as his Gate Guardian takes, like, no damage. So down goes Talonflame, and I'm off to, off to a bad start. So I'm going to send in my Kangaskhan, go for the Power Up Punch, because I kind of expected him to switch, but I guess he didn't want to. He goes for the Thunder Wave, and this is really bad. I can't have my Kangaskhan be um, paralyzed. I switch in, out into my Greninja as he goes for the Iron Head, trying to get that para flinch, but nope, I resist the hit, thankfully, so that's why I'm able to take it. I go for the Hydro Pump and knock him out. Oh boy, that thing was more of a hassle than it should have been. So he goes into his Flygon, I'm predicting the Scarf, I'm going to go into my Tyrantrum as he goes for the Earthquake, and he gets a crit, which totally mattered. You guys know I'm running the Impish Max Defense set, and Flygon has good attack, but not fantastic. So he pulls back as I go into my floor, just goes into Magnazone, I go for the Aromatherapy to get rid of the Paralysis of my Kangaskhan because that needs to go. He goes for Flash Cannon, I go for Wish because I want to Wish Pass, and uh, I know that I'm not going to be able to take another one. I go for the Protect to get some HP off, he goes into his Delibird and goes for the Aerial Lace, which does pretty much nothing. So I go for another Wish. And I go for Protect just to get off some damage, but he predicts this and goes for the Spikes. Now, right off the bat, right here, I know that I have to switch out. I can't let him get up any more Spikes than he has, because he's going to get one more free layer. I can't let him have all three. I cannot, because then he would have all his hazards, and I just can't handle that much residual damage. So I go for the Fake, I go for the fake Out. As he goes for the Ice Shard, I go for the Return afterwards, and that is going to knock it out. So he goes into his Hawk Hogan. That's kind of, that's actually really funny, as uh, he predicts me to switch, but I just, I'm like, I don't care, you've been predicting too much this match, I'm gonna go for the return, as he goes for the bulk up, and thankfully I'm not gonna trigger any kind of uh, item he might have, so he doesn't get his boost or whatever, but uh, I go, he switches into his executor as I go for the return, and it's almost gonna knock him out thanks to a crit, but uh, his, sit wait, what was that? No, oh, never mind. But a Citrus Barrier does save him. He goes for the Leech Seed on my Kangaskhan, which is going to be bad, but I don't expect this thing to last too much longer anyway. Um, I kind of th thought he'd go for the Protect there, but I guess not. I just go for a Return and straight up knock him out. 
And knowing that this Flygon is probably Scarf, I'm going to go for Sucker Punch. He goes for the Earthquake to knock me out, no big deal. And uh, I'm just going to go into my Florgis, so I'm pretty sure I can take one Earthquake. I'm, I'm like almost positive I can take one. And he goes into his Magnezone as I go for the Wish, trying to salvage my Florgis. I go for the Protect just to get, up, get off some um, recovery. And I'm going to try to salvage this game. I'm going to try. Because I'm going to go for the Wish, and I'm going to try and pass it into my Greninja, but a Choice Specs uh, Flash Cannon you know, Greninja after Entry Hazards, it cannot take that. I mean, its Special Defense is higher than its Defense, but it just can't take that kind of damage. So I go into my Florigis, and unfortunately it is going to die to the Hazards, so that is the end of this first game. So we're going to go straight into the next one. And he's gonna bring out his, he's gonna start off with his Delibird as I go into my talent flame, go for the U-turn because I was predicting the sash and maybe he would I don't know what he would do, but I'm pretty sure he was sashed. As he goes for Destiny Bond, holy crap, I'm not gonna be able to deal with that. And he pulls back, goes into his Gate Guardian, his Agron, as I switch out and go into my Talon Flame. Now I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz, predicting him to Mega Evolve, however he does not which means he's going to be able to take that a lot better than he would have if he had Mega Evolved. He goes for Stealth Rocks, he pulls back, goes into his Flygon, as I go for the Flare Blitz, which was not a good move on his part, because uh, Priority Brave Bird is a thing, it is going to be able to knock out Flygon, and that is the end of that. No U-Turn shenanigans, no Scarf shenanigans. So he, I go for the Roost here as he brings out his Aggron, however he predicts that, and goes for the Earthquake, and... This is not very good, but you know what, I'm in an okay position, it's fine. And down goes Talonflame, as now he decides to Mega Evolve, but I'm going to Mega Evolve as well, which means that we've got two powerhouses out on the field, and it's really anyone's game at this point. So I'm going to go for the Fake Out just to get off a little bit of residual damage, just a little, and go for the Power Up Punch because I know it's going to be a 2-hit KO, and, well, not 2-hit KO, but, um... I can get off some damage and I can knock him out afterwards. So he goes for the T-Wave and the Iron Head which is going to hurt and I'm going to get the Paralysis which sucks but I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch which is going to be able to knock him out thankfully which I should have gone for the first place but uh, you know, para flinch. And he goes for his Destiny Bond with his Deli Bird to try and take out my Kangaskhan. I'm guessing he was predicting me to go for the Sucker Punch again but no I go for the Power Up Punch and I don't mind losing my Kangaskhan right now because I would have uh, Lost. I, I can't use the Paralysis Kangaskhan. So here, I'm going to send out my Greninja, go for Spikes as he sends out his Magnezone and goes for Volt Switch, and you know what? I know your specs, man. I have to speed this up like 1600% or whatever, because neither of us were willing to switch out, and he just kept going for um, Volt Switch as I went for Spikes, and I was not switching my type. So finally he buckles, goes into his Halucha as I go for the Ice Beam, he brings in his Magnezone, and... Thanks to the residual damage along with the Ice Beam, I am going to be able to go for a Hydro Pump and knock him out. So goodbye, Magnezone. So he's down to his Halucha and his Executor. He brings out his Executor. I'm going to be able to knock it out with an Ice Beam. He realizes this and forfeits the battle. GG Dean, that was a fun battle. And you know, I usually don't like doing back-to-back -back battles like that. But in this case, it was actually kind of fun. So let's move on to the talk of the day. Today's talk of the day, I just want to address something that's been going on for a while now. Since I gave out my Skype information, you guys have added me on Skype, which is great. But a lot of people are still PMing me on YouTube. And you know, that's fine. I'll try and get to you if I can. But when you PM me on YouTube, I'm more likely to forget if you maybe ask me to record a battle. And sometimes it's harder to communicate since we can't pretty much have a instant conversation. I just want to let you guys know that adding me on Skype is probably the best possible way to get a hold of me. And if you PM me on YouTube, I'm not saying that I won't get to it, but I am saying there is a greater chance that I might overlook it or maybe forget to reply or something else since it's not right in front of me. So that's it for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed that video and I will see you next time. Be sure to check out the artists that make these videos possible, guys. Also, like and subscribe if you happen to like the video. Or if you'd like some help recording your X and Y battles, shoot me a PM on YouTube or Skype and I'll get back to you.